Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be walking you through the process of installing Icewind Dale 2 manually with Lutris and getting both the widescreen mod and widescreen UI mod set up correctly. I will have links both in the video and in the description below so that you can simply copy and paste them yourself. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to need the Icewind Dale install exe, which I'm downloading from my GOG account, but there are other ways to get it as well. Uh, while that downloads, I'll go ahead and download the three extra tools that we're actually going to need to have this game looking way better on a modern display. Uh, you're going to want to download the Linux widescreen mod from Giblings 3, uh, we do for Linux from GitHub, and the widescreen UI from Elkablog. Uh, once we have all the necessary files downloaded, we'll dive into the next step. To manually install a game in Lutris, simply click the plus icon in the top left of the screen, enter your game name, and I like to add the game's release year here too, just so it looks better later. Select Wine as your runner, and navigate to the Games Options tab. First of all we need to create a Wine prefix. This is just a directory that Wine recognises as the location of this Wine system. I like to keep mine in the Games folder from my home directory, but it really doesn't matter and it's entirely up to you where you store your wine directories. For executable, just simply select the installation exe file and save. Next, I like to go into the wine configuration tab and set the Windows version to XP, as this game released in 2002 and was designed to run on Windows XP. And the most important thing while you're here is to go into the staging tab and deselect enable CSMT for better graphics performance bracket depreciated close bracket. If you don't deselect this, the game just doesn't work properly. The mouse flickers around, everything freezes. It's not a fun time, so definitely make sure you disable this checkbox. With all that set up, we can run the installer. I like to deselect desktop icon here, just through habit more than anything. Once installed, I set the directory to the location we chose to install the game to and set the executable to our games directory slash icewinddale2.exe or iwd2.exe and save those settings. At this stage the game is completely playable in its original resolution. So if you have a 4x3 monitor or you just like the old school, um, the old school layout on the screen uh, you're completely finished here and you can go and enjoy the adventure in Icewind Dale 2. However, if you want to run the game in a full 16x9 aspect ratio or greater, uh, then stick around as I'll be covering that now. Firstly, extract your widescreen folder and copy it into your games directory as you see on screen now. Next, extract the Icewind 2 GUI fix and copy the folder contents into your Icewind directory. Finally, we have to install Weirdo Linux. To do this, extract the zip file and copy the mozpack, mozunpack, tizpack, tizunpack, to lower, weirdo, and weinstall to your dash user dash bin directory. Please note that you will need root privileges to do this. Here I did it the GUI way. So just right click on the file manager, open as root, copy the files that you want, control C and control V to paste them into dash user dash bin. As you can see I've already done this part before, so mine's asking me if I want to replace the files. Uh, yours, won't, yours should not come up with this dialog box. If you're unable to do it this way, for example if you are on KDE, uh, simply open a terminal and CD to downloads weirdo Linux or wherever you saved your downloaded file, and sudo, sudo cp mozpack mozunpack tispack tizunpack to lower weirdo weinstall to dash user dash bin. I will put that command in the com in the description of the video, uh, so that you can copy and paste in your terminal. Just make sure you are in the correct folder in your terminal before you paste the command, or it won't work. We're almost there now. Next, open a terminal to your Icewind Dale 2 directory and type to lower. Answer yes 
to both questions and don't worry about the error messages. Finally, run the command we install widescreen and select your relevant language on this screen. Now at this point I just want to mention that you can have quite high resolutions here. So I think I'm pretty sure you can even go up to 4K. However, I wouldn't recommend going over 1820 by 720 or 720p as it's commonly known. Uh, this game was designed for 800 by 600 screen resolution and has no UI scaling. So even though you could make this game 4K, I wouldn't suggest doing so as you won't be able to see a thing that you're doing. Finally, while having Icewind Dale selected in Lutris, click in the Wine menu and run exe inside wine prefix. I have noticed that some versions of Lutris in various distributions don't have this feature. If yours doesn't, simply go back to your game config and change your executable to the Icewind Dale 2 GUI fix. Then just reverse it back to the game's exe once you've finished installing the widescreen HUD. Next, select the language you understand better. I'm going to choose English because I don't know a word of French. And select 1280 by 720. If you were brave and you went with a higher resolution in the previous step, uh, just select the option that matches that choice. Press next and finish. And right here, I will have to switch to recorded footage from my laptop via capture card as OBS, for whatever reason, just really doesn't play well with full screen wine games. But as you can see, the game looks fantastic at 720p full screen and runs as well as it would on Windows. So that's the end of the video. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this guide was in some way helpful. If it did help, please give the video a like. If it didn't, let me know in the comments and I can either try and help you or I can try and change my videos in the future to better get my points across. But I've been Blind Beholder and this was installing Icewind Dale 2 with widescreen in Linux. Thank you very much.